exploded by a dead baby in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I was not crying or laughing. What did you do to it? Like, how big is the baby? It's full term. What? In one of the most incomprehensible crimes that the nation has ever seen, a newborn baby is found deceased at Artesia General Hospital in New Mexico. Where exactly the baby was found is what makes this case so shocking. Even more gut-wrenching is the unbelievable lengths a young woman went to in an attempt to cover up her monstrous deed. In the early morning hours of January 27, 2023, 19-year-old Alexi Treviso, also known as Lexi, checked into the emergency room at Artesia General Hospital as she was experiencing lower back pain. Her mother, Rosa Treviso, accompanied her. It wasn't uncommon for her to endure this sort of pain, as she was known to have hip and spine problems. However, this instance would prove to be something different. Around 1.40 a.m., Lexi informs the medical staff that she needs to use the restroom. During this time, her mother checks on her to make sure that everything is okay. Fifteen minutes go by before a nurse does the same, but Lexi claims that she's merely having trouble going to the bathroom. However, the nurse is growing suspicious of the noises she can hear from inside. It sounds as though the paper towel dispenser is being used over and over again, while the toilet is being flushed several times and the sink is continuously running. It was all very strange. After 20 minutes and no sign of Lexi, the medical team has become extremely worried and notifies her that they're going to open the door. However, the teenager beats them to it. As she walks out, no one could have expected the horror scene left behind. The entire restroom is coated in blood. Even worse, there's blood also dripping down Lexi's legs. She's quickly rushed to treatment, but unbeknownst to the doctors, Something unthinkably sinister has just taken place inside that restroom. While Lexi is being checked for injuries, a housekeeper is tasked with cleaning the bloody mess left behind, where she notices that the trash can seems heavier than usual. As she looks inside the bin, she makes the utterly tragic finding. What appears to be a newborn baby boy inside a plastic trash bag... She frantically alerts the nurses who confirm the sickening news. Sadly, there are no signs of life. Officers have just been called to the scene, where medical personnel inform them of the heartbreaking discovery. Police ask to speak with Lexi before being taken to her room, where the shocking truth is only seconds away from being uncovered. I'm sorry. We discovered a dead baby in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Thinking about it, I didn't know what to do. Lexi, I told you about this. But was... I just asked you, baby, to tell me the truth. I'm scared. I was not crying or laughing. I'm sorry. What did you do to it? Okay, stop right here. Stop. 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 <laughs> Number one priority, guys. Number one priority. And she just had a baby. I don't know if she's delivered the placenta. She's bleeding significantly. Yeah. I've spoken to the obstetrician at Loveless. They want her up there as soon as possible. Okay. I need, I need your, I obviously need your permission to transfer her for medical. She's, she's 19. Oh, you're right. To make sure that you're safe, I need to send you to left Loveless to labor delivery. Will you please agree to that? Yes. 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 I, okay. I agree. Great. I'm going to work on that. Um, in terms, I'm sorry about this, but in terms of delivering um, a baby and it looked like you tried to hide it, we do have to have the police involved. And that thing was crying. It came out with that thing. I know, I know. But the, the baby's going to have to be taken for autopsy and mm -hmm. you know, be an investigator and everything. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Before the incident occurred, upon Lexi's arrival at the hospital, she was asked if there was a possibility that she could be pregnant. However, both she and her mother adamantly denied there was any chance. Lexi apparently told the nurses that she was currently on her menstrual cycle. Just to be sure, she was given a pregnancy test. The first wave of shock came with the result. The test came back positive, but that obviously wouldn't be the last surprise. Because she's bleeding significantly, Lexi is going to be transported to Lovelace Medical Center in Roswell, New Mexico. 
I'm the charge nurse here. Do you guys have any questions for me? Like, how big is the baby? It's full term. What? Nine months? Sophie was crying. Lexi, have you watched the news of the, the girls that what they do to their babies and what they go to jail? Who's crying? Any, 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 any other questions? Okay. So, as of right now, like, I'm going to say this. We're going to have the detectives come over here and they're going to talk to you, okay? We have to gather some more information about what's going, what's going on. They'll get your statement. They're going to get the doctor's statements. They're going to get everybody's statements, okay? So, I don't know everything yet, okay? So, I'm not going to tell you. I can't tell you nothing. Okay. But she's not gonna go to jail. Right, right now, she's not, well, no. Well, right now she's being detained, so she she's not gonna leave from here at all. Period. Okay. So one of us is in your custody. Right. Like, yeah, <laughs> she's detained. Lexi reportedly seemed as though she was desperately trying to hide her pregnancy from the medical team, in addition to her mom. According to one of the nurses, when asked to lay down, Lexi would try to maneuver away. Although lower back pain wasn't cause for too much concern, they noticed that she was unable to keep still and wasn't, quote, acting right. Who was the baby at? I, I don't know. I have no clue yet. Like I said, I just talked to the charge nurse. We're still getting all the information right now. Okay. okay. Um, once we get that information, like I said, the detectives, they can clue you out on everything and talk to you more about it. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, because the baby wasn't showing any signs of life, the medical staff came to the conclusion that there would be no use in trying to resuscitate him, and he was pronounced dead at 2.28 a.m. Where did you put the baby at? Tell me the truth. Where did you put it in there? Uh, 517. Where did you put the baby at? 436 You put it in the bag? Yes. Oh, what bag? Why did you say anything to us? Do you want to get in trouble for this now? You could get in trouble for this. Give it time, okay? Let me speak to the detectives. Wonder if she's ready, okay? Wait for the second one. I'm gonna call that. Second one is five one two four zero one three three three. Last three. You've got second one. Rosa leaves the room to call her husband. I'm back in here, but as of right now, I can't allow her to be back in here. Okay, if you need something, uh, we're, we're not going to stay in here. Okay, because I, I think it makes it worse every three All right, obviously. And, and I know you're scared. So, what we're going to do is we're going to stay on the outside of the door. Okay, as long as you're constantly, you're not, you know, you're not going to put your stuff on. Okay, like I said, I, I, this is a lot. I know it is. Okay, you're young. You know, I, I don't want to be in here kind of adding to, to your anxiety and everything else. Okay. An hour goes by and Lexi is still waiting to be transferred. She's desperate to speak with her mother. You're looking for someone to talk to your mom? Um, yes. Okay. Just, you know, where I'm going. Yeah, no, she already knows. Um, detectives. She's going? Yeah, she should be. Um, detectives up there talking with her right now. Um, so, do you have any other questions for us? <laughs> Lexi is strapped into a gurney and placed inside of the helicopter where she will be transferred to Lovelace Medical Center for further treatment. However, the twisted investigation is only just beginning. Tragically, an autopsy would later reveal that there were signs of life after the birth. The baby ultimately suffocated from being placed inside of the tied plastic trash bag. Because of this, the death was ruled a homicide. On May 10, 2023, Lexi was placed under arrest and charged with first-degree murder and tampering with evidence. A little over a week later, she was released from jail on a $100,000 bond. She will be allowed to finish out the school year and attend her graduation without being required to wear an ankle monitor. However, she will have to follow a mandated curfew along with counseling. If Lexi violates any of the conditions of her release, she will be required to await her pending trial in jail.